everybody. Today we have Lenovo ThinkPad X13 Gen 2 laptop. It's an AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 5850U series. Let's take it apart. Let's see what we can fix, replace or upgrade. Let's start. Start with bottom screws. Now we have to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. So find a gap where you can put your tool and disconnect the clips. All right, and the bottom is out. Here we should have the part number. Now we can see all the internal components. So start with disconnecting the battery. This one you have to lift from here. All right, now we can take it out. So if the battery doesn't hold the charge or it's swollen, you can replace it. So that's our battery. Here we have the model number and the part number. Now here we can see our storage, our drive. So if your laptop doesn't boot and tells you there is no boot device or you would like to upgrade your storage to the bigger one, you can do it. So take out this drive. That's the NVMe SSD drive. Here we can see our Wi-Fi card. So if the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace this card. Disconnect the antenna wires. Take out one screw and you can take out the card. So here we have the model number and the part number. Okay, let's see. Mm, that's our heat sink and fan. So if the cooling doesn't work, laptop overheats and you would like to repaste the cooling paste or the fan is making grinding noise or doesn't spin, you can replace it. Be careful, don't bend the heat sink, otherwise it won't work if you bend it. Disconnect the fan from the motherboard. Yeah, sometimes the heatsink is stuck to the processor because of the cooling paste, so be gentle. All right. That's our fan heatsink assembly, and here we have the part number. Now here, that's our I.O. board with USB port. So if that port is broken, doesn't work, you can replace it. So disconnect it from the motherboard. And now unscrew this screw. The board is out. Look for the part number here. All right, now we are pulling out our motherboard and the speaker. So let's take out the speaker first. Maybe let's unscrew it first. So if your laptop has bad sound, you can replace the speaker. So unscrew these two screws. Now disconnect it from the motherboard. So those are our speakers. Here we have the part number. Now let's Disconnect all the wires from the motherboard and let's take out the motherboard. So to disconnect those video cables, flip the 
clip. Now we can pull out the connector. Again, flip the clip and you can pull it out. I will keep the CMOS battery with the motherboard, so let's disconnect the touchpad. Let's see, let's take out all the screws. this out. Here we should have the part number or this one here. And that's our processor. The processor is soldered on the motherboard. You cannot replace it. If it doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. Okay, so now let's take out screws for the hinges. So we can disconnect our palm rest keyboard assembly. Now unfold the hinges. Okay, so that's our keyboard palmer touchpad assembly. Here I can see that we can take out the power button. So let's check if we can replace it. Sometimes the power button doesn't work. And then you can replace it, yeah. Okay, so that's our power button board. Let's take a look at the touchpad. Looks like we can take it out. So if the touchpad doesn't work, you can replace it. Take out these screws. out okay and that's our keyboard palm rest assembly looks like the keyboard is probably glued or riveted to the palm rest and you cannot replace it so if you need to replace the keyboard look for the whole palm rest keyboard assembly if you need parts check gutlaptopparts.com and that's our screen so here, look for the part numbers on the video cables. Screen is very fragile, so usually sold in one piece. Otherwise, it's easy to crack it when you try to replace just the LCD. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.